your skin is often very hard, not like us, ours is pretty soft. What else? Does anyone know anything else? Or you can give me an example of a reptile? Yes. What's an example? No, I meant yes, that I think I'm going to see all the reptiles. Oh, okay. Alright, awesome. So I'm going to start with my first friend. Wow! Hi, Grover. And Grover is a reptile. He is a lizard. All right, his skin is pretty bumpy because he's covered in <laughs> All right, bless you. Bless you. So Thank a lot you. of the reptile friends that I have Thank have you. skins. All right, and reptiles are also cold-blooded. So that means that when Grover wants to get warm, he needs to sit on something that's nice and hot or needs to go out in the sunshine to warm up his body. So he likes it a lot when I hold him because my skin is a lot warmer than his. So he's probably going to see him moving around a lot. Alright, so Grover is a blue-tongued skink. Why do you think he's called a blue-tongued skink? Oh! Yeah, sometimes he, maybe if we're lucky, he will. He usually does. Alright, so everybody, Grover's tongue is blue. It's blue all the time. And do you think that's because we feed him a lot of blue candy? No. So why do you think it'd be really helpful for Grover to have a blue tongue? Did you stick his tongue out? Yeah. Alright, so Grover is obviously, he's a pretty small lizard, right? And if you look at his body, you'll see his legs are really, really tiny. Alright, so do you think that means that Grover is super fast? Should we see? Mm -hmm. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. Grover is very, very lean. What? He looks like a boy. Yeah, he's a boy. An alligator. Yeah, he has that nice reptile lizard like body shape. So Grover's arms and legs are really, really small. So obviously Grover's not that fast. All right? So since Grover's not that fast and he's pretty small, he has that blue tongue to kind of trick anyone that wanted to eat him. So if a big predator came up and they tried to eat Grover, he would just stick his tongue out and make his tongue really big. And since it's blue, the other animal would probably think he was poisonous and he'd probably leave Grover alone. <laughs> Grover, though, I said, is not poisonous. So it's just some way that he tries to find. Yeah, no problem with that, though. Okay. Would you like to? Yeah, you can put him on staff. Alright, so yes, boys and girls, this is a turtle. This is my friend Crush. Alright. Oh. Crush, yes. In the tank that's over there that you guys probably saw when you came in, there's another turtle that's pretty similar to her. And that turtle's name is... Lily, yeah. I know. You know? You know? You know? Back, the scales that are on her 
shell actually kind of peel, and then she just keeps growing that way. All of Crush's bones are kind of fused into the shell, so she can never actually get out of it. And the turtles don't go completely in their shell like we see in cartoons. She can only kind of duck in there and tuck herself around, but she's never going to go completely in there. Alright? So, red and sliders, like my friend Crush, are actually very, very good swimmers. Alright? If you guys, when I come around, if you look between her fingers and her toes, she has kind of webbing in between there. Alright? And that webbing makes it so that when she's trying to swim, she can catch a lot more of the water and push it away. Alright? So, if Crush was somewhere where there was a wave, and the wave knocked her over and put her on the ground, do you guys think that she could turn herself over? Yes. Yeah? Alright, should we see?
So that would be like an egg or a mouse, something like that. So for us, that's about three times the size of her head. She's actually showing us right now. All right? So for us, that'd be like trying to eat a basketball in one bite. We can't do that. But snakes have a very special jaw, kind of like un unhatches, and they're able to just gobble up whatever they're trying to eat. Now, since they do that, you never see snakes cutting up their food or trying to chew it or anything like that. So since they eat it all in one bite, it kind of just stays there for a while. And when snakes eat, you can actually see whatever they've eaten as it kind of travels through their body into their stomachs. So I think that's kind of cool. All right. So I always try to put Pretzel on the floor to see if she'll show us how she moves. However, when she does that, she just likes to wrap around my shoe. No matter what shoes I wear, I'm not really sure why. But snakes, when they eat something, before they open their mouth and try to eat it, they wrap all around it and they squeeze it. Because like I said, they don't really have the capabilities that we have. They don't have the teeth we have or the arms we have to cut anything. Now, since I said that I, all of my friends are safe, do you think that pretzel is poisonous? No. Do you think that pretzel bites? No. no. I definitely would not bring out a snake or anything of any kind that would try to hurt you guys. Um, ball pythons, actually a lot of people have them as pets. Because this is pretty much all that they like to do is just hang around and do this. Um, also, whenever Pretzel is back in her tank, all she does is curl up under a little log. And all she likes to do when I hold her is just come all around and stick out her tongue. So why do you think she sticks out her tongue so much? Why do you think snakes stick out her tongue? Yeah. Okay. 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 Maybe to send some food? Yeah, definitely. So snakes, they kind of stick out their tongue to kind of smell the air, see what's going on around them, because they don't have arms like we have to touch in front of them. Yeah. Oh, as the tongue took the time, Harry Potter told me. Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Yes. Unfortunately, she does not hiss and talk. I wish she did, and I wish I could understand her parcel tongue, but I don't. I actually lost my yesterday out. That's all right, so I am going to unwind Pretzel, if she'd be so kind. All right, and I'm going to come around with her. And everyone, just remember, if you don't want to pet her, that's totally okay. All right, Pretzel is my last reptile friend, and I'm going to have some buzzy ones. And I know more people are going to want to pet those, so that's totally fine. All right, but if you'd like to, we may. <laughs> 